Hello there, how are you? What's up? How you doing? Um, I have this activity. This is an activity to relax you. If you need to relax, if you're uh, stressed out, if you're uh, wound up, this is an activity to relax. Uh, I'm going to use my sketchbook. You can use a piece of paper, a sketchbook, any kind of book. This is my new sketchbook that I made for myself this week because this week my favorite color is orange and I made this book for myself. And I'm going to use these uh, fine line, tripless fine line markers. Uh, they're really good for this. They come in the packs of 10 or 20. To do what I'm doing specifically, you kind of need the bigger one because it has these lighter colors. Because I'm trying to relax and the light colors are really nice. So what I did is, because orange is my favorite color, I picked orange and yellows and a couple of reds. Nothing too uh, strong a color. I want very subtle colors. And so I'm going to open up a page in my book. Let me page. And I'm going to draw spirals. Watch this. I'll start with a... It's so relaxing. I did this the other day and I was relaxed. So I want to relax some more. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go overhead with the camera soon. Uh, but I'm just going to start so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just doing spirals. One spiral at a time. Just kind of winding it around. And at a certain point, I'll stop. And then I'm going to take another color. Um... Yeah, this is like a kind of brownish orange. And I'm going to pick a spot close to it, but not too close to it. And I'm going to make another spiral until I get to that spiral. Watch. And I'm going to go overhead soon because it'll be easier for you to see. Because it's hard for you to see probably on this angle, but I wanted to say hi. So look at this. So now I'm going like this and I'm going to get to that point and I'm going to pretend to continue. And then I'm going to come back around like this. Look at this. It's a big spiral to start with. So then I'm going to go like that. Then I'm going to take blue. And I'm going to get closer now. And I'm going to go like this. Watch. And I'm going to make another spiral. And I'm going to stop right there and go and jump around it. Go like this. Stop. Go around. Stop. Go around. And it's just really relaxing to do this. And when you're done, if you work on a whole page, it looks really cool. So I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to keep making these like kind of look like that. All right, so now I'm going to go overhead so you can kind of see it better. Uh, so okay, so um, basically, you can see my spirals. I'm just going to now choose different colors and just keep making spirals. And every time I run into a line, oh, I messed up already. I'm going to, uh, it's like a layered thing. And I'm just going to go as a little bit like that. And then I'll pick, I'll keep these open because I'm going to use them. And then I'll take this color, I'll do orange again. I want this to have like an orange kind of feel. I'm going to, I'm not going to get too close because I want the center. So I'm pulling away a little bit. You see what I'm doing? So it's like, let's say over here. And then I'll just go like this. And it's really relaxing. <laughs> Um, sometimes I do this and then I get like, I gotta, I gotta stop. I'll come back to it. That's why I like to do it in a sketchbook. So I can just work on a bunch of these things. And then I'll do this. And then if you just spend some time on it, you can make different sizes of your spirals. Maybe I'll even make a green color. Let's see how that works. Oh, it's a little tight. See, I'll make a small little bit of green. Not too much green. I really want orange to be the predominant color. I'll do... Um, and then you start playing around with the colors. So how do you figure out what color is next? Like purple is here. So maybe I want purple over here. So you kind of... Uh, if you pick... Sometimes I just do this with three colors. But here I'm just showing a bunch of different colors because I'm kind of experimenting. But if you pick like three or four colors to start with, and for some reason, it's more relaxing, in my opinion, when you use these kind of soft colors, which is why I like these pens, because they have these these kind of like light colors. They're really nice. Look at these nice colors. Look how much they, look how nice they work together. And then you hit like a little bit that's a little strong, something like this. See, it's like a nice palette. You make your palette of colors and uh, try to have a predominant one, like orange is my predominant, because my favorite color this week is orange. So I'm just going to use orange a lot. So like every couple of times, I wouldn't do orange right here because it's very orangey right there. So I'm trying to 
balance the use of the colors. It's kind of a, it's like a little exercise in color play. Uh, like the purple. If I put another purple here, it might be too much purple. This brown is very big. It's almost like the focal point. So now, was that this brown or this brown? I don't know. Let's see. I'll do this. Yeah, this is small. This is a lighter color. So that's this brown. This is that brown. See? And I'm just kind of creating a composition organically. And I'm thinking about it as I do it. Like this was really powerful. This is almost like the point. Like this is where the eye is going. So I might want to do a big one over here to balance that out. But I'm just going to keep going. Like I'll do another green. Maybe I'll do green up here. I think my hair just rubbed into the microphone. I don't know if you're going to... That was me touching my microphone because I have this camera like really close. It's like Wolfman Jack from WKRP in Cincinnati. Um, the microphone's like right above my face. So look at this. I'm going to do a small bit of blue here. See how nice this is? It's so nice. And I'll get this uh, purple going. I'll put that purple. I'm going to put a small purple up here. I'm only going to do a little bit, not too much. See how nice this looks? So nice. Doesn't it look nice? I like it. Let me know if you think this looks nice. See, orange, orange, orange. I'm going to put orange over here. It's kind of like what we do with our stamps. And then we make patterns. You're making like color patterns using a spiral. And you don't have to do it while I'm doing it because it's really supposed to be relaxing, not just listening to me talk. But, oof, see, I'm messing up. Um, you just kind of put a headphones on. Uh, where's that dark one? This one. I'm going to try to get this guy over here. And I'm going to... Now... Here's a point to think about. Right now, this is this big one. I think this is this dark one, right? Yeah, that's this, uh, this color. If I put the center out here and go like this, it's going to make another big one, which is too big to that one. I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to come closer here, and I'm just going to go a small one. Even that's kind of big, but I'm just going to do this. Look, and that's it. One more, and I'll finish it like that. So that's not bad. And now I'm going to put another orange because I really want orange. So I got to get my orange one. I'm going to try to keep, it's like a play. So I want orange to be the main color. So I'm going to do an orange one. Look at this. Can't you just see how nice this is looking? <laughs> and I don't know, are you relaxed? I'm relaxed. Even though I'm talking, I'm relaxed. I'm going to put green, a little green over here because I'm balancing the green out. See? So it's, if you do something like this, you're kind of practicing and learning about color theory, if you pick a couple of different colors, and composition. It's like a, it's like a game that you play, a relaxing game of color spiral drawing. Does that make sense? Um, and you're just kind of playing. Like I have blue, blue, blue. I need another blue, but maybe not here because that's too much. Maybe I uh, get a new color. Maybe I bring in a little gray, like a light gray. Why not? Put it over here. I'm going to come out a little bit. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. It's so light. So nice. Look at this. <laughs> see it? You probably don't even see it. It's so light. I hope you can see this. It's a beautiful light gray. Oh, and I was reading about orange. Apparently, orange is a very common color. It brings you joy. And they say when you pair orange with gray, it's a beautiful combination. And so far, I agree, because look how nice that looks. Um, I'm going to put this color over here. And now I'm just sort of shaping my composition. I love spirals. There's so much fun to draw. A couple of weeks ago in my gratitude journal, I said I was grateful for spirals. Um, and I drew something like this because I do this once in a while when I need to calm down. <clears throat> green, green over here. I'll do this. Look at this right on the edge. So good. Look at this. This is fun to do. You should get a piece of paper or a sketchbook and just draw spirals until you're relaxed. Um, it's fun. I'm going to put a blue right here. See? See how I'm doing this? Get a couple of different colors, 
And if you're a parent watching this and not showing your child this, and you want to get them a nice uh, gift for all the good hard work they're doing with remote learning, buy them a pack of these triplets fine line markers and show them this video and tell them to do this because it's super duper relaxing. I need another gray. I put gray right here. I'm just going to keep going. It's so good. I might speed this video up because I can't imagine anyone's going to sit here and watch me draw spirals for very long. But uh, it's relaxing and I'm trying to relax. Can you hear it in my voice? I've got uh, things to do. I just shot a video showing our paper mache. I might as well talk about that. Um, paper mache is also quite relaxing. <laughs> I haven't used this color in a while. I don't even know if I use this color at all. Did I use this color? Oh, this is a nice color. Look at this. I'm using a little too many colors right now, which is giving me a, a little stress, but uh, not much. This purple, purple, purple. I think I want purple. Nope, purple there. See? <laughs> purple here. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off the edge like that. This is hard to do, but I'm going to do it. It's hurting my pinky hanging on the paper like that. But I'm doing it. So uh, paper mache on Mondays and Wednesdays, we're doing uh, our art studio workshops. And we started building some paper mache things. We're building Saturn. I'm going to put more. No, I'm not going to put more purple. Should I put more purple? I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to finish this area off with purple. Three, four. I cheated a little. I did four lines. And I didn't finish them over there. One, two, three. Four. It's very important that your spiral makes sense for the overall composition. I need another one of these things, this dark one. See, I think I'll, I'll have that. No, nope, that's there. So I orange. I'm going to go orange up here because it'll tie it all together. Yes, look at that. See, this is how you start to learn about composition. Um, it's hard to do with these little spiral things, but I'll do it. Hey, spiral. Spiral coil. Spiral binding. I don't know what color to put there. Gray. I'm going to put gray up there. Look at this. I don't know where I want to start to center in there, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to go like this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Look at this. See the spirals in there? So I'm going to put another gray over here. It's a little gray. I'm going to be at grays there. So you, it's like uh, you're balancing out like purple, 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 green, 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 pur uh, orange, orange, orange. Uh, that's orange, 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 gray, gray gray. So I'm going to put gray here. See? You kind of start you're building patterns. In school you used to do patterns like AB patterns or circle square, circle square, circle, 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 square, square. I saw this video on Instagram. Someone was with the little kids. They had these little uh, like an orange and orange and apple and orange and it was like clap, clap, stomp, clap. And then they moved it around. Clap, stomp, clap, clap. It's a good little uh, thing to do for brain development. Uh, and this is also for brain development. Maybe not for little kids. I might not be able to do such intricate spirals. But you as an adult watching this video, not showing your kids. I don't know. We're talking about this. A lot of parents come in with their kids and I go, hey, you see my videos? Did you see the video I made? And the mom or dad goes, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I'm like, oh, did you see it? The kid's like, I didn't see it. I'm like, why aren't you showing my videos? And the whole point of this is that the kids will watch this. Uh, this is bad. Look at yellow. And they'll do it. See, I tried to put yellow in here. It's so soft. You're probably not even seeing this. Believe it or not, I'm drawing a yellow spiral here, but you might not even see it. Such a light color. It's nice, though. Mm, I don't know if I should have done that because now I have to repeat that. Uh, what needs to be here? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? See, now it gets complicated. As you start getting closer to this edge stuff, it gets a little tricky. Maybe this color, which is that, that'll work. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer, like more egg-like. Look at this. Now I'm just kind of experimenting. And as you can sense in my voice, I'm very relaxed. Um... Spirals are relaxing. Labyrinths, spirals. In the medieval times, they used to put the labyrinths on the floors of the cathedrals. Um, so when the pilgrims would come in, they would walk the labyrinth first, which, I don't know, for whatever reason, there's a lot of context to that, but it's sort of get them into a 
much more relaxed state to enjoy their trip if that makes sense so uh it's very relaxing that's too big though that's not bad it's balancing out with that now i need uh more green over here maybe and i'm just gonna keep going and look how nice this composition looks you balance out the color and this is kind of how i approach the collaborative paintings that we do i ask kids squint your eyes take a look at the overall piece and look and like if you squint your eyes now and look at this it's like blue 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 so we need a little blue here to balance you want to create like a balance of all the colors let's just drop my pen cap for the blue so you're gonna go like this see and then so you're dealing with a lot of different things with this activity one is trying to carefully draw these lines but remembering that it's a relaxing exercise, so don't get too crazed about the fact that the lines are scattering about. That gives it the kind of nice feel. Like, you know, you don't want to have perfect spirals. You want them to kind of move around. And and so you, you do this. And there's another blue here. Because blue and orange are complementary colors. I haven't done orange in a while. Whoops. Let's do this. It's close to that, but that's okay. And you just keep going and as you do this you'll start to see and make decisions based on the color the size of the spiral and the shapes and so and this the size like you want to move it or you want to have a balance with all the different pieces so if you look at just green I have green if you look at blue I have blue like this the orange I got pocketed all over the gray I haven't used that much there 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 so I probably will do gray here there's gray again I like the gray it works nicely with the orange I'm gonna do gray over here and then as you start really building the whole page then you have to start thinking about the composition of the where your eye is going um, so it's not just about balancing the color but now it's like there's a focal point to this whole composition. At the moment, it's still in this area, but maybe over here I'll do a lot more intense orange, or maybe I'll do a big orange here. Let's see. Yeah, like I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna try it. This is hard to do, but you'll see it after I'm done. I'm gonna do a big orange spiral. I'm gonna take this all the way to connect. And you'll see why in a second, I think. I, this could be wrong. That's why I have a lot of paper. If I mess up and I need to relax again, I'll do it again. I do spiral things like this all the time. If you don't like spirals, you could do squares, you could do anything. But spirals is nice because you keep the kind of line going. And it's just very relaxing. <laughs> I can't tell you how relaxed I am. It's like yoga. An art version of yoga. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is too big now. I think this might be too big, but let's see. Oh, look at that. See how close I got to that thing? If you hit the line and you double the line, don't worry. If you go on the other side of the line, don't worry about that either. Look, now it's going like that. I could clean those things up, but I'm not going to worry. And then it's like, goes, ooh, goes down like this, and then it comes back over here. You want to make sure you do that so it looks like a true spiral. Look at this. So that's going to go like that. And I'm going to let it stop over there. Now I need to figure out what color should go here. And I think I'm gonna do purple. I think I'm gonna do purple. And I'm gonna put it, this is gonna be tough because this little spot here, watch this. I'm gonna go like this, like this, like this. I really do think that this kind of exercise, just by the nature of doing it, a couple of times, you're gonna get a really good sense of color, balance, composition, and practice with the line works. And it's like the perfect activity to do if you want to learn how to uh, get better at doodling and sketching and all sorts of things like that. Look at this. See how it looks like it's underneath now? And yeah, okay, so here's the thing. These lines get a little muddy after a while. If you are very specific about things, you could do stuff like that. But this pen, once you darken it, you'll see it darkens the color and then you might get a little stressed out like I just did in terms of having that darker blue there but that's okay I'm not gonna get as bad I want to put a little more yellow I just don't know where I think I'll put it over here but not a big amount because I don't want too much of that yellow because it's so light 
you hardly see it. So I'm going to do this, 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 and then I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to take the dark color again, I think, and I'm going to put the dark color down here, but not too much of it. That's coming off this edge like this. See? And I'll just go like that. And then I'm going to come back to orange because I'm worried that I'm messed, I'm not getting enough orange. So I'm going to do this like this. So that as if the spiral is over there. So I'm going to go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Look at this. All right. So to recap, because I want to stop this video soon because... Luke is not here, but if he was here, he'd be telling me it's too long. He says he doesn't think anybody's going to watch a video longer than 10 minutes, and not even 10 minutes. He thinks they should be like 13 seconds. Like, you cannot teach an art activity in 13 seconds. It's impossible. I need another blue. <clears throat> blue, 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 blue. So uh, draw spirals. Get a couple of colors. If you want to use Sharpie markers, that's fine. If you want to use colored pencils even, that's okay. Spirals are really much more relaxing when you have a thin marker like this. And uh, it's just really therapeutic to do this sort of exercise. I haven't used this color in a while. Did I use this color at all? I don't know if I use that color at all. All right, so here I'm going to go like this. So now I'm going to try to wrap this up because I don't want to make this video too long. And I have to go take Lachlan to music class. He's taking his music class today. So, oh, this is too much right there. That's too much of that color. I need a nice color in there. Something in there. Maybe that dark color or this color. I'll do this color. Look at this. I'm going to have the spiral go in there like this. It was in there. And then you just kind of have fun. Look at this. See? It's underneath. Um, what should I do here? I feel like a blue again, but it's too much blue. Maybe I'll do this color. This might be too much like, let's see, I'll do this here because it's too close to there. I think it's like this color, I think. Yeah, it's that color. See this? This looks good. How does it look? I need this, this to be dark around here because that's very light. I'm going to do uh, orange again over here. I'll do it off center. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching me make spirals. And more importantly, I hope you're making spirals. It gets tight in the corner like this. I'm going to take this all the way to the corner because I want orange to cap it off. <clears throat> I got to figure this out. I got to figure that out. I'm still going to work on this a bit, but... Uh, it's looking pretty good. I like this. I'm, I'm okay with this. Maybe another dark color here. Seems like this dark. It's got an orange colored quality to it, so I guess that's okay. And I'll do this, and I'll do this, and I'll do this. And you just kind of have fun. And now you could leave some of these negative spaces available with a colored pencil color in like an overall background. That I'll do in a different video because that's a little more intricate. But... I'll just put some blue lines here as if there's a spiral that you don't see back there. See, that's kind of hard to see. Um, what else do I want to do over here? I guess I'll do another blue because of that yellow. All right, so that's it. I'm going. I probably already paused this. I'm trimming this off already because I hope you... Uh, I hope you do this kind of spiral. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm not exactly finished, but I want to stop the video. And I have no, also, I have no idea what to put there because that's a little tricky. So I'm going to think about that for a bit. But there you go. Check this out. How do you like it? It's kind of nice. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and I hope you do it. It's relaxing. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.